2 to the 4 to the x over 8 to the 2 to the x is equal to 1 over 4. Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. If you want to try it on your own, pause it because I'm going to solve it in 3, 2, 1. First step, let's cross multiply. This times this gives us 4 times 2 to the 4 to the x equals, and then 1 times this is just 8 to the 2 to the x. Next, let's express all of these in terms of 2. So 4 can be expressed as 2 squared, and 8 can be expressed as 2 cubed. On the left-hand side, since the bases match, we can just add these exponents, which gives us 2 to the quantity 4 to the x plus 2. And on the right-hand side, these exponents can multiply, which gives us 2 to the quantity 3 times 2 to the x. And now the bases match, so the only way these two sides of the equation can be equal to each other is if the exponents are equal to each other. So now we have 4 to the x plus 2 equals 3 times 2 to the x. Another 4, so let's rewrite this in terms of 2, which would be 2 squared. And this 2 can be multiplied by this x to give us 2 to the 2x. And now let's go backwards and let's put the x inside with the 2. So now I have 2, 2 to the x's here. Let's do some u substitution. Set u equal to 2 to the x. So now I can rewrite it, but express each of the 2 to the x's as u's. Then we'll subtract 3u from both sides. On the left-hand side, we have u squared minus 3u plus 2. And on the right-hand side, we have 0. Now we can factor this. We want two numbers that add to negative 3 and multiply to positive 2. That's going to be negative 2 and negative 1. And if you're curious what we just did, if we were to FOIL this out, u times u is u squared, u times negative 1 is negative u, and so on, we would have these four terms. And the negative u and negative 2u combined to give us negative 3u, and that brings us back to what we were up here. So we just rewrote this in terms of factors. And the reason we did that is because now we can set each of these equal to 0. So either u minus 2 equals 0 or u minus 1 equals 0. And then we can add 2 to both sides or add 1 to both sides, and we get u is equal to 2 or u is equal to 1. And u is equal to 2 to the x, so we can substitute 2 to the x in for this u or 2 to the x in for this u. So this says 2 to the x is equal to 2. Well, 2 to the 1 is equal to 2, so that means x can equal 1. Or 2 to the x equals 1, well, 2 to the 0 power is equal to 1, so that means x could equal 0. And these are the two possible values for x. How exciting.